and welcome to 5 Minute Sociology with me, Adam Melvin. Today um, we're going to move on a little bit from the previous series. Um, so in the previous episodes we've talked about um, the inequalities and the relationship between class and health, um, gender and health, ethnicity and health, and I do plan to continue videos on those, but um, I thought I would also add a kind of new subsection on research and research in sociology. Um, so if you're watching this video and you find it useful, please feel free to subscribe, give it a like um, and share it as well. Okay, today then um, we're going to think about some research within sociology. Now, if you're studying sociology or if you're studying research methods in any of the kind of humanities or social sciences, this will also be useful. Or if you're a health and social care student and you're studying some qualitative research methods, again, this will be useful for you. OK, so our main focus today is interpretivist research. Now, I'm going to try and break this down because this is supposed to be five minute sociology, so it's just supposed to be simplified. Um, within research, we basically have um, two avenues that we can we can move down and two philosophical wings of research. Um, so the first one is positivist research and the second is interpretivist research. OK, now positivist research broadly aligns itself with quantitative research, which is driven by data um, and statistics. And that would be more aligned with the natural sciences. So that would be kind of one lens that you could use to conduct your research. So, for example, if you're using questionnaires, um, scientific experiments, things like this, you'd be sitting as a positivist and you'd be thinking about quantitative research and data. Now, we can still use this within sociology. And actually, within sociology and the social sciences, there are two um, distinct views on how society can be um, observed and how society can be researched. Now, if we're going to apply positivist research to sociology, what we'd end up doing is looking at society and agreeing that we think society can be looked at as though it is the natural world are, um, it's the same as looking at it as a, as a science experiment, okay? So people and the human, human behaviour and the human condition can be observed as though it were a social, um, sorry, as though it were a science experiment. Okay, now, there are sociologists that think this way, and I'm going to try and mention some theorists that would link in with this as well. So positivist researchers, or people with, that would align themselves with positivism, um, would be Marx and Durkheim, okay? So Marx is obviously associated with Marxism, Durkheim is associated with functionalism. Now, the reason they would align themselves with positivist research is they were around in the Enlightenment period um, where science was kind of hailed as the answer and, you know, to legitimise the study of sociology, it would make sense to see it as a science. OK, now, interestingly, positivists, they would look at the world from the top down. OK, so what I mean by that is, if, and if you've watched my previous videos, this will make more sense. Um, sociologists look at the world in relation to social institutions. So, for example, um, an example of a social institution would be the education system, healthcare, law. So if you can imagine you're looking down on society from above and you can see all these institutions within these institutions, there's people working within those institutions um, and positivist researchers would look at society from the top down. So they would look at education um, and then they would break that down and, and move down through the institution. OK, now the other side of things, interpretivists, um, they are the other lens that we can use. So interpretivists would align themselves much more with qualitative research. OK, and qualitative research is research that is interested in human emotion, um, observations, thoughts, feelings. OK, um, and there's a good way to remember the difference. If you think of quantitative research as quantity, 
because it's to do with figures and qualitative research to do with quality because it tends to be longer answers that give you the meaning behind um, why things are the way they are or why someone's answered the way they have. Okay, so interpretivist researchers are much more interested in thoughts and feelings and um, understanding individuals. Now, they would argue that the human world cannot be observed in a way um, like that of a science experiment. Um, okay, so we cannot study individuals as though they're a science experiment. Um, that's not possible. So they would approach research from the bottom up. So going back to my social institution example, and to be honest, um, interpretivist researchers would not necessarily be um, interested in social institutions in particular. Uh, they would think of education, but then they might just look at a particular class in a college. They wouldn't start from the top down, they'd go from the bottom up. Okay, and the methods they would apply when doing their research, interpretivists, would be things like human observation, uh, participant observation. Um, they might use questionnaires and surveys, but they would tend to be open-ended um, questions and very qualitative, so people can give their own answers. Um, they may use other things like ethnographies, which are kind of long-term studies where you um, spend a long time with one particular group um, and focus groups. So they're going to much more be about collecting people's emotions, ideas, thoughts, feelings. OK, so really, really quickly, let's just summarise this. Um, and I probably will add more to this research series as well, because there's so much we can talk about in research. But really quickly, interpretivist research versus positivist. Interpretivists align themselves with the scientific side of things, the hard sciences, and they would be interested in quantitative data. So questionnaires, scientific experiments. Interpretivists would be more interested in thoughts and feelings. They would focus on qualitative research and they would conduct research on things like human observation, um, focus groups, uh, ethnographies. OK, um, and the main difference in their approaches is that interpretivist research is bottom up approach. Um, positivist researchers is top down. And just quickly before I finish, um, a researcher that you could think about if you want to talk about or you want to kind of study interpretivist research further would be Max Weber, who is another sociologist. So he would have been um, another key sociologist along with Durkheim and Marx, but Weber is distinctive because he was an interpretivist researcher. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. Please feel free to subscribe, leave a comment uh, for future video suggestions. There will be um, more research videos coming um, because it's such a vast topic. And also I'll be adding to my inequality series as well.